Orthos Forum, and we approve this message. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I've got a razor here, a Bible here. We'll talk about the Bible in a second. And I'm wondering how many people here would be willing to take $50, 50 bucks right now, to have your, all the hair on your head shaved off by this. How about 100? You, sir, $1,000, $1,000, that's right. But you know what? I've never found anybody that'd be willing to lose their eyesight for any amount of money. But you know what Jesus said in Matthew 9? He said, if your eye offends you, pluck it out. For it would be better for you to enter into heaven with one eye than to have both eyes and go into hell. I mean, no, this guy's just so harsh and unloving. The Bible says that, that God is love, and I don't get how him being everyone's faces is doing that, you know? Uh, going to the streets is a litmus test. Uh, what is my heart like? How can I see thousands, millions of people perish and, and not go to them? We must. We must go to them because they're not going to come to us. You know, believe it or not, one of the best responses to this particular objection was offered by the famous magician Penn Jillette, who's also a well-known, outspoken atheist, and also, if you're familiar with some of the stuff he's done, incredibly blasphemous. No friend of Christianity at all. But he posted a video on YouTube where he talked about how Christians, if they really believed in a literal hell, uh, that they absolutely must do all that they can to radically warn people about it. That in fact, if they don't do things like shout their message from the housetops, he has no respect for them at all. And I've always said, you know, that I, I don't respect people who don't proselytize. I don't respect that at all. If you believe that there's a heaven and hell and people could be going to hell or not getting eternal life or whatever, and you think that, uh, well, it's not really worth telling them this because it would make it socially awkward. How much do you have to hate somebody to not proselytize? How much do you have to hate somebody to believe that everlasting life is possible and not tell them that? I mean, if I believed beyond a shadow of a doubt that a truck was coming at you and you didn't believe it, but that truck was bearing down on you, there's a certain point where I tackle you. And this is more important than that. people the truth about abortion before they make a decision that'll You know, my them. wife and I spent the afternoon at an abortion clinic doing what we can to intercede for the babies that are being taken into these bloody concentration camps for execution. Now, if I really believe that this is what's happening, what should my response be? Stay at home, maybe pray a prayer or write a letter to the editor of my local paper? I mean, give me a break. Christians need to step up to the plate and act on their beliefs or stop pretending that they really believe them.